Okay, on this video today, I'm going to go over the contents of a Do More grinder case. Okay, here's the long view of all the different pieces that come in a Do More case. And we'll go through them slowly so you know what's going on. You have a 4 inch wheel, a 5 inch wheel, and a 6 inch wheel. You have the wheel dresser that has a diamond tip in it. You have a .75 diameter, a 1, a 1 1.2, a 2, a 3, and a 4 inch pulley. You have one belt that is a 429-0086 and another belt that's a 429-0085. As you notice the 85 is a little bit shorter so that's going to be a different type of spindle speed as well as a different pulley system for each particular one. You have your grinding wheel case cover. In case your wheel were to shatter as you were grinding on the lathe, it would, it would protect you in case of that. You have the tool post stud and clamp, and you have a washer and you have a nut. Now I usually have another washer I put underneath the washer they give you so it gives you more surface area when you bolt everything together. Down here you have the three wrenches. Over here you have the pulley case cover and the pulley case cover bar and the, and the wing nuts and, and washers that go through these studs. Here's your actual large part of your do more. Okay? Everything attaches to this. Where your pulleys, where are your belts, all the different things attach. The one thing you need to worry about though is this is your spindle. As you can see right here, there is a roll pin and it will break if you don't install this correctly. As you look down here on this one side, there's a little niche at the bottom, a little cutout part. You install the spindle into your do more head unit and you roll it around and as you lock it in, and I'll get close so you can see, as you push it, pull this around, it'll lock into that little notch. And that keeps that from spinning. Okay, so now that's set in place. The other big, big thing you got to realize is this nut that goes on the motor is left-handed. The nuts that go on each side of the spindle are right-handed. So please be aware of that when you're screwing this on. If you get these nuts mixed up and try and put a left-hander on a right-hand spindle thread, you're going to be in trouble. So now I'm going to install this and put it all together and we'll be back in a minute.